Hello, hello, Ryan here, and welcome to part two of how to create an event calendar in Excel. In part one, we started from scratch and built the dynamic calendar layout that you see here. You select a specific month or year, and the layout and dates all adjust automatically. And if you missed part one, there is a link to it in the description. Now in this video, part two, we're going to add an event list where you can add events that will dynamically appear on the calendar itself. This way, you can store your events in one place and then adjust the calendar view accordingly to quickly get a better look at when events are taking place. And of course, we will be starting exactly where we ended in part one. So go ahead and open that spreadsheet and then your next step is to create a copy of the calendar worksheet. So right click on the calendar tab, select move or copy, select move to end, check create a copy and click OK. Then rename the new worksheet to events. Now on the events worksheet, select columns B through K, right click and delete. Then select rows five through seven, right click and delete. And then click here to select all of the cells and set the horizontal alignment to left. From here, select cell B3 and type in date. Then select C3 and type in event one, then event two, event three, event four, and event five. This gives you the space to schedule up to five events per day. And once you've typed these values in, go ahead and select the range B3 through G7 and go to insert table. Check the box next to my table has headers and click OK. Now select a cell in the table, and under the table design tab in the ribbon, change the table name to events. Then uncheck the box next to filter button, and click the down arrow here, and select new table style. We're going to design a new table style to make the table easy to read and work with. So first give the new style a name by typing in one here. Then select the whole table element and click format. Under the border tab, change the border color to this light gray. Then click on the outline and inside buttons to apply the border around all cells and click OK. Select the second row stripe element next. Click format. Navigate to the fill tab. Click more colors. Click custom, and for the hex code, enter FA, FA, FA. Then click OK and OK. Now select the header row and click format. Select this light gray for the fill color, and then under the font tab, change the font style to bold, and then navigate to the border tab next. Select this thicker border style, change the color to blue, and click this button to apply the border on the bottom. Then click OK, and finally OK. Now to apply the table style, click the down arrow here, and select your new custom table style. You can then type in some sample data like so. And the sample data can really be anything, but having a little bit of sample data is going to help us validate the formulas that we add later on. And once you have some typed in, the next step is to format the date column. So select the date column of the table, then click the down arrow here and select more number formats. Under category, select date, and select a date format that works for you. And if you don't see date formats that you're used to, you can change the location here to match wherever you live. 
Then, once you've selected your preferred format, click OK. That does it for the table. And what's nice is that you can easily add new dates and events simply by typing right below the table. It will expand automatically to include any new data and allow you to store thousands or even millions of events in one place. Now for the finishing few touches on the events worksheet, select cell A4 and then go to view, freeze panes, freeze panes. This will keep the table headers in view even when you scroll. And finally, select row 1, right click, row height, change the height to 30, and click OK. Then go to home and change the fill color to blue. Change the font color to white, increase the font size to 16, and bold the font. Then select cell B1 and type in events. With that, you are finished with the events worksheet. We are now going to navigate back to the calendar worksheet and add in the formulas that will dynamically display the events under each date that is shown. So start by selecting cell B8 and enter the following formula. Equals if in a function if function vlookup function b7 next argument events next argument 2 next argument false close parentheses equals 0 next argument quote quote next argument vlookup function b7 next argument events next argument 2 next argument false close parentheses close parentheses next argument quote quote close parentheses and press enter this formula uses the VLOOKUP function to grab the first event from the events table that corresponds with the date in cell B7, and the IF function returns nothing if the VLOOKUP function returns a zero, and the IF in A function returns nothing in the case that the VLOOKUP function finds no match at all. Now, once you have the formula, use the fill handle to copy the formula down to cell B12. And after you've done that, we have to go in and make some changes to the copied formulas. So starting in cell B9, change the B8 reference back to B7 and change the 2's to a 3. Then in cell B10, change the B9 reference back to B7 and change the 2's to a 4. In cell B11, change the B10 reference back to B7 and change the 2's to a 5. Then in cell B12, change the B11 reference back to B7 and change the 2's to a 6. Once you've made those changes, select the range B8 through B12 and copy the formulas over to the right like so. After that, go ahead and copy the cells, then select B14 and paste, select B20 and paste, select B26 and paste, select B32 and paste, and select B38 and paste. Just like that, you are finished with your events calendar in Microsoft Excel. I hope you had fun building this template and leave a comment or like if you learned something new. Also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other awesome builds like this. And I will see you again in the next Spreadsheet Life video.